Holidays are approaching and you and I, Dad, always seem to be last on the list. Well, I'm here to give you seven key things you and I can prioritize to up our dad game. Hey, my name is Ryan Field Spack. Thank you for joining me today. Everything you want to see is in chapters down below, so you can check in the description. And you can see what you want to look at and fast forward wherever you want to go. There are some affiliate links listed down below, but there are no specific sponsors of this. If you buy something, you're not gonna pay any more, but it will definitely help out the channel. So just wanted to acknowledge that ahead of time. But let's jump straight into the gifts that you can get yourself, in particular, this holiday season. The first one is more specifically how you can make yourself better in particular. And I've got a couple things to talk about in this. I don't know about you, I work from home and I have a lot of specific challenges that I deal with. Namely, I kind of turn into sloth mode during the week. I don't shower as much as I need to or I should. I kind of wear my comfy clothes all the time and I just kind of sit in my office and do the thing. That's not necessary. You can up your game and you can treat yourself with some specific things to improve your uh, quality of life and spice things up for your wife as well. So there are a couple things I want to talk about here. First, clothing. Don't just wear around some of the comfy clothes all the time. You can get comfy and still look good. The first thing is Viore. I just went ahead and upgraded and got this Viore sweatshirt that you see right here. I've got some good Viore pants. They're not necessarily the athletic wear, but they're the ones that you can take with you on the go and you can look really stylish as a result of that. So take a look at Viore. I'll have some of those links in the description below. But those are fantastic products, not just for working out, which is what I was very surprised by. The second, shoes. Get yourself some shoes that make you look really good out in public so you can up your professional game a little bit more. Now, Beckett and Simonon is one company that I've used for years and years and years now. They make specifically shoes that are custom to you. Now, they're really good deals because you have custom artisans that are actually creating the shoe for you, but they're doing it on the fly, so it takes a little bit of time for them to come. But I've got some great uh, dress shoes, and more importantly, I just bought some really cool sneakers from Beckett and Simonon that you can be able to utilize as well, and it kind of complements that Viore gear that you're gonna get as well. So if you can up your game that way, look better while you're out and about, you're gonna up your confidence, and you're gonna feel more confident about what you're doing from a professional standpoint in particular. The other thing that I don't do a lot is shaving, as you can see right now. I always hate it. I don't know about you. Put in the comments below if you think so. Shaving is a challenge. It's a pain in the ass. I never really want to do it. And I finally broke down and got myself a safety razor about six months ago. I got a Henson shaving blade and I absolutely love it. If you want me to do a specific deep dive on this blade, let me know and I will definitely do so. But a safety razor, for me, it changed everything. I don't have as much pain. It's kind of a ritual for me to do this entire shaving process. I really enjoy it and the shave is absolutely fantastic. Plus it's super cheap. The blades themselves hardly cost anything at all. You can get a hundred of them for about 10 bucks. So maybe switching up your shaving routine for this next coming year could be an option for you as well. The other one, workout plan. Do you need to get back in the gym? Have you really been focusing on trying to improve upon your health or you just don't know where to start? I've got a link down below for my dedicated course on how to improve upon and work out for just 20 minutes a day, three days a week. And you can get in, get out and get done. If you wanna improve upon your fitness this holiday season, check that out. It's such a cool program. I've got that listed down there for you below. Shameless plug, but it's definitely worth it. And then finally, Manscaped. You got a lot of hair, I got a lot of hair. Get rid of that stuff. Trim it up, you're gonna feel much more confident and comfortable. So I've got the Manscaped actual trimmer, the weed whacker that you can do, which is kind of expensive. I'll give you another option that I actually personally use um, for that, that don't uh, tear up your nuts, so to speak. So something to think about for that. And then of course, nose hair. Get a nose hair trimmer. Be more confident about yourself, Dad, by cleaning yourself up and uh, you'll absolutely feel better about yourself as you move forward. So those are some of the things specifically taking care of yourself. So that's number one, but let's dive into the other ones first. And the, the most specific one is a Dyson vacuum. Now I know you're saying, Ryan, why a vacuum cleaner for dad's cool stuff? This thing is freaking amazing. I used to think when I before we had kids that that little robot vacuum cleaner that would go around the room was absolutely perfect and I didn't even need to lift a finger again until I had kids. 
Now with three kids, we have the house professionally cleaned and within five minutes, the place is an absolute disaster again. Having that cordless Dyson vacuum is absolutely huge because you can just grab it out, get in, get out, get done, get everything vacuumed up super fast, dump it out, and then recharge it. It's so much easier than waiting for that little robot vacuum to come around to the area that needs to be cleaned. So something to think about, I absolutely love it. Number three is a cast iron pan. If you haven't gotten in the kitchen much, this is, might be a great opportunity for you to get introduced into it. A cast iron pan is the way to go if you want to cook steak, if you want to cook potatoes, if you want to cook um, tacos, or anything that you really want to get a good sear and good flavor in your food, a cast iron pan is absolutely the way to go. You really got to watch how you clean it and how you take care of it, which is why it's a little bit more of a man's tool. I'm going to not lie about that. Cast iron, I cook almost everything on except for eggs where I don't want them to stick. Absolutely love them, and that is definitely something that you can up your game in, specifically with a cast iron pan. Number four, Yeti coffee mug tumbler, or some other tumbler like that. Get yourself a tumbler. You can save a little bit of money by not going to the coffee shop every single day. I actually make my own coffee. I have an espresso machine here, but we also use Costco cold brew with some soy milk, and you can just put that in there and you can have that stay cold for you all day long. Having coffee as a dad with kids is absolutely key and critical, so that is a huge one to have. Number five, air tags. Air tags are so darn important because I seem to lose my keys all the time. More importantly, my kids' backpacks, um, some of the other keys that are around the house, a lot of the things that get lost very easily, put an air tag on it, and then when your kids have lost them or your wife is trying to find something and you can find it nice and quick, you can be the hero for the day, and then your wife can get out and moving and doing what she needs to be doing. So air tags are absolutely key. Finally, get out in the open. Get out and have a lot of fun with your kids. Grab a hiking backpack. If you are in an area where you can go hiking quite a bit, make sure to stuff the right things into that backpack, including medical gear. I've got a great video in my channel about medical gear that I carry with me all the time, including tourniquets and things like that. Something to definitely think about. And if you go skiing, if you're in an area where you go skiing, Utilize a ski backpack so that you can have all of the stuff you need and snacks and water and all the stuff, beer, carry the beer with you, that you need with your kiddos to make sure that they are happy as they are skiing throughout the day. It's absolutely clutch. And then finally, take some time to learn and improve upon yourself. I do this in particular by listening to a lot of podcasts, but I also do it by listening to audible books. There are so many fantastic books about improving your life professionally, making more money, and being a better dad and husband. Get in there, grab an Audible subscription so you can learn specifically more about how to do all of those things. So when you're on your drives, when you're doing things around the house during the day, you can really continue to improve on that. So get that Audible subscription and really start to learn a little bit more about what you want to improve upon. Now, of course, we all know that the woman in our life is also getting shortchanged, right? The good news is we got you covered on that as well. Here is a list of the things that your wife needs and the things that you can purchase for her this holiday season. All you gotta do is click right here and you can access that video right now. Have a good one, thanks.